Out here in North Texas today, it's surprisingly not raining. I think we're eight to 10 inches above normals uh, for last month, and uh, we've been given a good day to do some shooting in range time. Uh, DNS, Double Knot Spy, has graciously afforded us the use of his range, his personal range. I started this project at a public range a couple days ago, and the footage was just crap. I mean, you got folks talking over you and shooting over you, and it's just very hard to uh, deal with. So thank you, Brian, uh, for the private range. And he is here, by the way. He's behind the camera at the moment. Say hi, Brian. Hi. So uh, what we have, uh, what we're doing out here is we're devising and plotting our next plans at eradicating the Texas feral swine population. So this is uh, what I do as I can in my off time, but Brian is a very uh, prolific hunter. He's out many times per week, and so uh, oftentimes he and I will uh, try to get together and discuss uh, tools, technologies, equipment, things to use uh, in this endeavor. So um, about a year ago, the NRA show was in Dallas. Uh, Dracos Falcor Defense had a Grendel prototype barrel at that show that I had in my hands and we got to a good long discussion about it. I've been shooting Grendel for five or six years on and off. Brian shoots, I shoots Grendel. Uh, and it's just a caliber that we uh, have found to be very effective in the field. So Dracos this month, 2019, released their retail version of their straight jacket system, 6.5 Grendel. Uh, and so I called them up and talked to them about it, and they were gracious enough to send us a test and evaluation barrel uh, to try out. So thank you very much uh, for that opportunity. Um, the objective for today is to sort of recap the testing method that I was using at the range uh, the other day where I tested 90 grain TNT, 120 grain Gold Dot, and 123 grain Hornady Black ELDM. Uh, so. I hope to not have to use too much of that footage, but rather just the data points and the target photos uh, from that session. And then today we'll be adding uh, 123 grain Hornady SST, which is a popular hunting round. And we may have time to try the American Gunner 123 grain boat tail hollow point. Uh, but in a nutshell, uh, the aspects of the Dracos is that it has a uh, aluminum cover over a steel barrel and the gap in between the two has some thermal epoxy resin uh, that helps to dissipate the heat and as part of the straight jacket system it also adds to the rigidity of the system so uh, we're looking at the thermal aspects of performance as well as uh, the grouping size um, and there are going to be things that we can't test uh, such as longevity of the barrel whether or not the straight jacket system lasts longer than a conventional steel uh, not really uh, in the scope of what we're testing. Uh, we will be uh, shooting it along with a standard Diamondback Firearms, and I say standard, what I mean is traditional steel uh, rifle barrel. Both these are 18 inches long, uh, and so the first test up today will be to shoot 20 rounds through both uppers at the same time, uh, and to take heat readings using a scanning thermometer on the, on the barrels and monitor how long it takes for both barrels to resume to ambient temperature. Uh, so that'll be one test. Another test we'll do is we'll shoot a five shot group through a traditional barrel and then we'll shoot a five shot group at 100 yards through the Dracos and we'll see if there's any um, shrinking of the group between the two. Uh, and then to finish it off, what I've been doing is shooting 10 shot groups with the Dracos at a moderate pace and so what I'm attempting to do in that test is simulate hog hunting where you have your opening shot and then you typically have 10 or more follow-up shots that are in quick succession so it's not a dumping of the magazine but rather a concerted effort to try to stay on target be as precise as possible but shoot as quickly as possible uh, and the reason I do a 10 shot group there is to see if the straight jacket system uh, deters stringing due to heat soak within the barrel. So uh, I, th I had some pretty intriguing results the first range session. I hope they continue and show today and then uh, we'll kind of put this first range video together um, and post it this week 
Uh, I am going to have to take a little bit of a leave from hunting for a few days, and so Carpe Seuss, Double Knot Spy, uh, will be taking this upper today with him to uh, use it in the field and chasing pigs. And I'm not sure that we will see any performance differences. I mean, what we look for as hog hunters is reliable uh, and dependable equipment that we can count on. If the cold bore shots are where the rest of the group hits, that's, that's a plus. Uh, if the system cycles and shoots the velocities that the ammo is designed for, that's another plus. So these are just other data points that we put together. So I'm not, the, the fortunate thing is I'm not trying to sell you this product. That wasn't the intent. It's not uh, what we're about. We're about seeing how it performs and adding uh, the data points into the Grindle shooting community, into the shooting community overall. That way consumers can make informed decisions, and, and that's what it is. So on that point, let me end here. I did have one malfunction the other day on the range, and it had to do with seating depth of some of my hand loads that I had uh, designed for this Diamondback firearms barrel. Uh, the bullet jammed into the lands of the Dracos, and powder came out when I pulled the case. And that was simply an oversight in hand loading for two different chambers. That's something I should have checked. Uh, but nonetheless, let me just make the point that there are a number of chamber variants for Grindel. Uh, and before you go and continue to watch this video, if you're, uh, this is not one of those videos that chooses one chamber over the other. I'm not uh, particular to it. Again, I shoot what uh, I find works for me, and I tailor through hand loading. And as, so long as it runs factory ammo without a hitch, uh, I'm good with it. But if there's a, if you have some concerns with the chambers and all that jazz and it's going to bother you just click in the upper right corner of the X and uh, move on so uh, this is a uh, not a discussion and hopefully it won't turn into it uh, in the comments of the video about chambers and which is superior and which does what and uh, I'm not about any of that stuff guys so all right with that said we're going to get uh, the guns put together and the first test we'll run is the 20 shot group into a berm Timestamp 603. This will be a 20 round magazine through a Diamondback Firearms 18 inch mid length gas Grindle barrel and an 18 inch rifle length gas Dracos straight jacket barrel. Shooter 1 is in position shooting the Dracos firearm. I will be Shooter 2 joining him. 